How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to episode 4 of Star Wars Fantasy Flight Games. We're sitting here with Hunter High Times YT. Say hello, High Times. Whoop, whoop, fam. <coughs> How's it going? It's your boy, Hunter High Times, <coughs> and I'm about to hit you with a recap when I get my cue. And here it is. So, on the <coughs> last episode, episode 4, we ended up... three. Or three, sorry. On episode three, because this is episode four. Do we want to restart? I fucked up. <coughs> nope. Okay. Uh, we finished, we caught and returned the little species thing that we were supposed to do for the job. That little green guy, yeah. Uh, we got the payment. We then abandoned our crew, stole their payment, went back and killed, all, well, killed and stunned the Imperial guards and killed the moth. Uh, recovered the little baby thing, uh, made our way out, and now we are on the run hiding on Tatooine. Alright, and I am going to start this stream like we haven't started it before. With the sneeze? <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> With experience oh. from the last three episodes. Oh, God. Okay. So the grand total experience we will be receiving for the last three episodes is 500 experience. Okay. <clears throat> and I will take this time to let us have one time to level up our core skills. That meaning it's going to cost 75 per level. What? What's that mean? 75 experience per level in your for your skills. What do you mean? Like... For your brawn, agility, and intellect. Oh. If you want to up one of them, you got to pay 75 per one. Okay. Then I will up brawn. Can I up my brawn if it's out of three? Yep. What can I up it to? <laughs> as much as you want. I'm gonna do okay, so seventy five Max seven, of six, clearly. Seventy five and seventy five is one fifty, right? Yeah. Plus another seventy five would be one twenty would be two twenty five? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do there is two twenty five minus. So I'm at three oh five. And I upped my brawn by th by two, so it's at five. And I upped my willpower by one. Uh, not my willpower, sorry. Uh, my presence by one, so I'm at three. And then I'm going to do one more 75 to up my willpower by one. Bring it to two. So that would bring me... 305 minus 75 would be... We go 300 minus 70 would bring me to 230, right? Yeah. All right, so that's those. And now, can I also do my tree quick? <coughs> you have? Yeah, if you want to do your tree, go ahead. Hold on, so... <laughs> what do I do if I maxed out my tree? If you maxed out your tree? Yeah. Then you're done. Can I start a new one? Nope. Oh. Well, I guess I'm maxing out my tree. Are you now half? Yeah, I just gotta do the math on it because I believe I have enough. So, 20, <laughs> two 20s, a 15, a 10, and three 25s. So, okay, there you go. 75 plus, how many 20s is there? Two 20s, right? Yeah. Plus 20, plus 15, plus 10. Yeah, 120. And that leaves me with 120. Wow, half. I spend 120 experience, I get left with 120. 
Mm-hmm. It's great. And now my tree is maxed out. So I have to read what it all does. I didn't read it. I just realized I could do it all, so I did, you know? <coughs> yep. Might as well, right? Yep. So, I'll win this save. So, let's see. Add one damage per rank. Then... What does it mean? I can I gain one single characteristic. Cannot bring above char above characteristics above six. What does that mean? That's what your thing is. What? Like what we just did. Oh, so I get to upgrade one more for free? I don't know. Well, read it. It's, I don't know what characteristic is. It's so. called dedication. So it's, I get an updated characteristic, but it can't exceed six. I have no clue what the characteristics are. Oh. Are you looking it up? Yeah, no, I have no idea, Hef. So, just leave that? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> There's nothing saying what it does, no. And I have 120 more, so I can do one more of those. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to upgrade my... I think it's cunning I need for what I want. Yeah. Yeah, cunning. I'm um, using my last 75 to upgrade cunning to three. All right. So, 75, so that would be easy. <coughs> or 30. Okay, I'm ready. Now I feel like a true Wookiee. I'm kind of scary, but I'm hella dangerous. <laughs> you do not. I need two more dice, by the way, Hef. Now. Why? Because I upgraded my brawn to five, so I need two more. Well, you're SOL, Hef. What do you mean? We have three green dice each. Well, what am I supposed to do? You're just SOL. Half. <laughs> I'll have to roll twice and write down what I get, you know? Yeah. So I'll get a Nothing card. more I can do, half. Apparently, I need to invest in more dice. You didn't spread your points around very much, did you? Well, <laughs> I, kept mm -hmm. it. I upgraded presence and cunning to three. Brawn to up two, and I left intellect and willpower. <laughs> oh, hold on, I didn't do Oh. Okay, um, so I'm gonna take one out of brawn and bring it to four, okay? And I'm gonna move it to willpower, because that's what, er, yeah, willpower, because that's what my intimidation is. Is that okay? Huh? If I move one of the ones I bought from Brawn down to Willpower, because I thought that uh, the one I needed for with the intimidation <laughs> was under Presence, but I forgot it was Will. So yep. I'm going to move Brawn down to four and Willpower up to three. There. Now I have four, two, two, three, three, three. Nice, nice. So, I'll still need one more green, but that I can always just ask for when I roll, you know? Yeah. I just clued into that, too. But I'm going to smoke my big. Are we still on stream? Yep. Then I'm going to smoke my beginning game bowl, uh, beginning game perception again as well, right? <coughs> yep. Okay, just let me pack my key out of this bowl. <coughs> You still doing your stuff? A bit, yep. Do you want to smoke a bowl with me? Before we start? 
Amanda. Oh, wait. Oh, you're doing your stuff and step out. Well, I officially have zero experience. Yeah, I have like 25, 30. Because I can't do anything else. I just spent all my EXP. Are you done? Are you done your experience? Are you ready to play now? Yep. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to smoke this bowl and then I'll be ready to play. My, oh, my beginning in perception. Right, right. Yep. That is a 15. Okay. Alright, you also add your credits. What are my credits? Your credits are 500,000. Jesus. <laughs> so. Just remember, some of that's got to go towards the ship as well as fuel. For damages and stuff when it comes to it. <clears throat> five hundred thousand? Yep. So that's five zero zeros dash zero zero zero. Five zeros and then the five in the front. Right, so oh basically it just puts up five in front of everything. Yeah. Wow, I really should figure that out. Uh, <coughs> and what actually oh. Hmm. Yeah, I'll pay it. I was gonna give you. I'm debating if I'm just gonna end up giving you a little bit in advance each time, you know, just so I don't go through all my money. Yeah. Because we know how I gamble in Star Wars sometimes. I bet my five hundred thousand credits on one hand and lost. Cheers, I. Hold on, half. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> what did you break the game with now? I didn't. Now there's only one armor master I see. So we come out of hyperspace and we come into the <coughs> atmosphere of Tatooine. Where on Tatooine would we like to land at? <coughs> <coughs> Says Lee. That's the only place I know. You want to go to Moss, Sesley? Oh, uh, that's the only place I know. All right. So we land the ship, and then we go walk our way to Moss, Sesley Cantina with the little green kid, <coughs> aka the baby Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody hasn't gotten the hint yet. <coughs> Upon walking into the <coughs> cantina, I tell you I'm going to go to the barkeep with the kid and get him some soup. I say, you do that. <coughs> um, I'm going to roll perception, which is now three for me, um, to see if I can say by playing cards or anything, you know. Two success, three advantage. How many success? Two. And three advantage? Yes. <clears throat> Alright. So you see some people playing cards. Can I recognize the, like, the species? Not really, no. no. You being from Kashyyyk and all not leaving, you don't really have xeno xenology. Yeah, I have Underworld. Yeah, there you go. You got the Underworld. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't think they're going to accept a Wookiee wanting to play cards, but I'm going to walk over to one of the tables and be like, can I play? What do you want, Wookiee? I I point at the cards, I pull out, say, 200 like credits, 
and be like, buy ins 300. Pull out 400. <coughs> I'm like, we, and I'm not adamant. I'm like, <coughs> I got my thumb, I'm like, we good? Alright, do you know how the Star Wars cards work again? No, I don't remember. It's gin rummy. I don't know how to play gin. So you basically gotta match the same thing or match sets. Oh, of all the same cards, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, or numbers. Uh, you, uh, or colors and stuff. Yeah. And you can get more cards, right? Like, how does that work? You have to pay for more cards or what? Like, you have, like how no, do you, you get just the draw match? them. Okay. You draw one card, and then you put another card down. You can okay. only have seven cards in your hand at a time. Oh, okay. oh, you want to match all seven. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling one of these guys is going to have a trick up his sleeve? Wow, half. <laughs> just because we're we're freaking just playing a game as not real gambling, dude. I can set up in three ways. Actually, I can. Oh, bingo! I just got my best way. Ah, <clears throat> uh, what beer? It's okay if it's annoying. I was wondering if I could have one of your brothers. No. Ah, oh. uh, fuck yes. Go ahead. Okay. I know, but you need to eat, and I've eaten today, so go ahead. <coughs> One. I've just had my, I've had that noodles. Oh. And I'm like, I'm going to be like, okay, so, my best bet in this <coughs> off. Do it like that. Like that. Alright. <coughs> you just organizing the cards for them? Yep. Me. It's up to you. Doesn't really matter too much. Jesus, how? So. <coughs> so I'll place this. Do we get to see what it's? You placed? have to place a bet to do cards. If you want to draw a card slash swap a card, you have to <coughs> draw a card. And this is the beginning card on the field. And I can pick that up. Yep. Okay. How much? Well, no, you can't pick it up. What? I, I can swap it though, can't I, with mine? No, you have to drop a, you pick up a card, and then you have to drop a card. You can only pick up the top card after a card's been dropped. Uh oh. <clears throat> okay, so either way, so then right now I just have to put a card down. I can't pick yeah. up that one. Yeah. And what, what's the minimum bet? Well, you gotta talk to the people. I guess you can't really. Wookiees is hard to play, half. <laughs> what are you going to do to figure out what minimum bet is? Or you can just play off the top of your head, half. Well, I'm going I'm to wait and I'm going to watch to see what people bet, you know. <clears throat> the first couple people ahead of me, you know. <clears throat> Alright, so somebody bet 150 credits. Yeah. <coughs> I'll bet 200. Uh, what did, did he put a card down? Yep. What, what is the card? Can I see? Yep. Sorry, I have to. No, I have to <coughs> Alright, so we'll put down that. And am I drawing from here? Where am I drawing from half? Right there. <coughs> sure.
Isn't there only one of each number? Yep. How are you supposed to match all number? Just when you get the four, you call it? What do you mean? Well, you said you have to match numbers or suits. Yeah. So if I match all numbers, I just call when I have the four cards? Yep. Okay. I just wasn't sure on that. I just cleared it. <coughs> you know what I mean? Yep. I'm just trying to see what's being put down, you know. It's all good. Just because you know you'd be able to see it in game. Yep. Of course, Seth. My turn? Yep. I'm going to bet 300. <coughs> Two. I'll just bet 200 bring me down to zero. Uh, I'm going to put down this. Take this, <laughs> and I'm going to call it. You're I, taking which? The three that was on top. Sorry, I couldn't get a grip. <clears throat> and you bet how much? I bet 200. And I called it. Alright. <clears throat> so what did you have? Huh? All four threes. <clears throat> Plus I also have two, two sevens and a five. Double four. <clears throat> Kings. <clears throat> Double queen. This guy takes the king. Let's go to donations. Four five. Eight nine for the higher points for the match, and then Jack and King two goes to the donations. And the final one, all four aces. Oh God! Scary, right? Yes. The, the automatic highest points you could ever get. <laughs> <clears throat> and then a six, seven, and a ten to go into donations. Six and seven don't match. No, but six and seven match in numbers. What? Because six goes on to seven, but they have to match the same suit. They don't match suit. Or color, sorry, oh. not suit. Wow, that <coughs> threw a lot of points away. Did you have? I had five, six, seven, five, six, <laughs> seven. Yeah, like, so you can do these, they're just less points, but if you have the same suit, they're more points. Oh, That's right, well, either way, I still don't think I will. <coughs> no, this guy. I'm going to back one away. For the I'm going to be the smart one. <coughs> money is my just thing. Just take the loss and go. Yeah, well, money is my thing, you know, I wouldn't... You know, that's what oh, yeah. a gambler would do. A smart gambler. But that was a pretty fucking sick hand, all four aces, wasn't was, it? Not? Now, was that dealt, like, <coughs> randomly? That was dealt legitly. I was that sitting was there going, that's a, that's a slight of hand thing there. <coughs> um, so. It's a little scary to think that that actually happened, though, hey? What are you doing? What? Two so please. Huh? Two please. So I come back up to you, I'm like, well... I lost six hundred dollars. Jeez, gambling wasn't that good for you, huh? It's very hard to gamble when the people don't understand. <coughs> the little one likes the soup. I say, what type of soup did he have? Maybe I'll try it. You got him womp rat soup. Okay. Have a, would my character have had womp rat? Nope. I'm gonna try it. I go up to the barkeep. I'm like, enough womp rat, womp rat soup to feed a wookie. <coughs> he says it will be 50 credits. What? <coughs> I said, what's the soup made out of? Gold? No, womp rat, but enough to feed a Wookiee. <coughs> you need quite a bit of womp rat. You know, I'm giving him a 9 cent tip so I can just set up even 30 cents. I don't know where the fuck <coughs> I got $9. But it's fucking with my math. <laughs> So he has a nine dollar tip. All right, he says thank you very much, sir. I say if with that tip I can also afford an ale on top of that, I would love it. But if not, I understand. I don't know what things cost here. Yeah. You can still keep the remainder after the ale, though, if you don't mind. Here, please. All right. <coughs> 
So in about five minutes, he brings you a big bowl of womp rat soup and a cup of ale. I take a bite <laughs> of the soup. I don't have to roll anything, right? Roll a presence check, half. Why? To see if I like it? Yep. Just let me think. I need to change my presence, so I want to make sure you know. Yep. Yeah. One success, two advantage. So your character likes the soup, Hef. Great. <laughs> oh, wow, this is some really good soup. Damn. I guess we should also do forest points. Oh, yes, we forgot this. Either way, not that good. Two negative points. What? Oh, no. I'll probably go get it. I probably guess who just joined the house party. Who now? Spider. <laughs> I don't even care who joins the house party at this point, cause fucking I get invite or I get notifications from everybody. You know, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Luckily, you and Spider are the only. Okay, <laughs> think of it this way: you don't get the notification when someone's in the house party. When someone logs into the app, when they open it, you get the notification. Really? Yep. Yeah. Once someone opens it, every time Kerrigan opens it, I get the notification. It's like, my damn, dude, how many times do people got to open it? That's why I'm not adding many people on there anymore. It goes off like no tomorrow. But we got two dark side points to start. <laughs> the bird keeps like, yeah, it's mama's recipe, you know? I say, well, tell your mama. She's a wise woman. Thank you, sir. So I the say, bark. Mando, you should try some of this soup. It's amazing. I know you can't take your helmet off right now, but maybe get some to go for when you're in the <laughs> ship. I will have my fill at some point. The barkeep pipes up. Hey, Wookie, what brings uh, what brings you in this Mando here? <clears throat> A t- Tatooine of all places. I stand up and I'm... Oh, I don't know if the barkeep can speak in, speak Wookie. He understood me when I ordered. <laughs> Mama said, ah, not much, just traveling. Thought we'd check out this place. I was told this had some of the good warp, some of the best warp rat soup, and that's why I wanted to try it. And I was not disappointed, barkeep. Thank you. I hope it gets you coming back for more. I say, well, if I spend much time here, I'll definitely be back for another bowl. I say, hell, bring me up another half a bowl. That would be, what, 25 credits? Of course, of course. I say half a bowl. (coughs) And a bowl for my friend Mando here if you can put it in something to go. Of course, of course. Same size? Uh, Or regular size? I say regular for him. I don't think he'll eat quite as much as I. All right. As my Wookiee belly. 12 credits for the regular portion. So 25 (laughs) plus 12... It's 37. I'll just give him 40. All right. Th- thank Sorry, you again you know for the tip. I like to keep. Yeah. And I also, I learned in all the times. Um, okay, Austin. Hmm. I think I, if I went from 520030, okay, and it would be 40 credits, so I'd go down to 5199. Nine. 520 what? Three two zero. No five two zero zero three two zero. Five two zero zero three what? Zero. Zero three zero. Minus forty. <clears throat> you would have five no, five one nine dash nine nine zero. That's what I thought. So five one nine. Do 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 do. Five one zero. Nine nine zero five one nine dash nine nine zero. Okay, perfect. All right. <clears throat> I eat up the other bowl. I hand you your bowl. I say, Mando, you wanna wanna get out of here? Nah. We may as well, right? So yeah. We got our fill. I say thank you, Barkeep. Have a good day. As we walk outside. What are we going to do, Hef? I look at you and say, so, what are we going to do on this planet? Know anybody at work? Any markets? Anything? Well, I did hear of an arena 
that happened shortly, or that got up and running shortly after the Empire collapsed. What do you mean, an arena? Like a fighting arena. I say, <coughs> and let me guess, the one going to go fight in this arena is going to be me, and you're going to place bets on me. No, but you can if you want. I was just saying, there's a lot of talk of work going a lot, going around there. I said we could check it out. Could always go see what's going on there. Yeah. And why again, not? if you want to fight there, you're more than welcome to. I said, well, let's go check it out. <laughs> All right, so we hop in the ship and we fly less than a less than. A quarter of a quarter of a parsec. <laughs> Over. Or, I, I don't I really say, know. No, before we, we start flying, I say, hey, Mando. Uh, you should you should let me handle some of this. <laughs> the ship. Let me fly it there. Come on. Not a chance. Come on. <laughs> let the Wookiee fly. Not a chance. Come on, let the Wookiee fly. Like every other Mando. Ain't no one fly their ship. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We fly the... three parsecs. Two... The planet next door to Tatooine. What, what happened By next door, I mean right next door. What do you mean a quarter of a quarter of a parsec? How do we go to three parsecs? Because <laughs> I messed up half. Oh. We flew three parsecs. Okay. To another To the planet? next planet, yep. Okay. But I wanted to stay on Tatooine so I could get more of that soup. We're just on the planet beside. Okay. You can go back. It's only three parsecs. Okay. And we land on yet another sandy, deserty planet. Well, Gabe, this looks a lot like the last one, bud. <laughs> of course, of course. Only this one has an arena. I say, very well, let's get to it. So when we land, we land in quite a decent amount of different type of ships. And we get out, and you see a giant arena made of sandstone. I say, you know, this this don't look like anything of the arenas we had on Kashyyyk. You had arenas on Kashyyyk? Wow, we had pits. You know, gotta get our, fo our soldiers in top condition somehow, believe it or not. We we had our death pits where the soldiers would fight to even out the best. The best of the best, you know. Makes sense. Now looking back at it, all the Wookiees' lives we risked. <coughs> we risked and killed. I think we could have used them when the Empire came. <laughs> the best soldiers weren't a match, but maybe all the soldiers would have been. I bet, I bet. We then walk out of the ship, and then you hear, Gling, glong, 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 glong. I roll perception. <clears throat> of a two and one, two success, one advantage. So in front of you, you see what looks to be a Geonosian. Is it hey, Geonosian? <coughs> go ahead, go. I <coughs> say, you know what this guy is saying. <coughs> <coughs> He's asking us if there's anything he can help us with. Where do we get into the fighting pit? <coughs> he says, are you trying to enter or watch? Bit of both. He points that way. We follow him where he points. Alright. All right. So as we walk forward, I say, so Mando, uh, what is the, what have you heard about this fighting arena? What fights here? Creatures or actual like pets, like a fight people? I've heard nothing. I just heard it was an arena. I say, huh, we should go take a look. I say, should we go watch first? See if I want to compete. Sure. So we go and we find out how we get in the watch. 
You just have to pay an admissions fee to watch. How much is it, I ask? The admissions fee is 20 credits a person. And you can stay all day. I say, now, uh, just because I'm assuming this guy would know the... Uh, I say, uh, can I ask you a question about entering? Mm-hmm. I say, I'm allowed to watch, because I've never been here, figure <clears throat> out what it is, then see if I want to enter, right? If that's what you'd like. I say, and how do I enter? Do I come back here? Yep, just come talk to me. I My say, name is Rowan. Nice to meet you, Rowan. I'll be back if I decide to fight. See you soon, tall guy. I'm a Wookiee. Indeed you are. Indeed you are. And I walk away. <laughs> I say, let's go. I paid him. Sorry, I paid him first. So you said it's 20? Yep. So that would bring me to 90 minus 20 is... 70? Yep. Okay. So, we go in... Upon going in, we hear the chanting and thumping getting louder and louder as you hear the clashing of steel and you hear and you smell the faint and utter smell of blood. Oh, lovely. As you walk up, you see slightly stained red sand with an arena filled with multiple different fights going. Oh. I see you see sentient fighting creatures, creatures fighting creatures, and sentients fighting sentients. I say, what do we want to watch? Well, looks like we're watching all of it. Oh, are they all? Are we not like walking around and we don't have to walk? Like, no, we're sitting now. Oh, we and that's all just one big area. You can yep. see everything. Think of the Roman pits, F. Okay. It's basically one big thing like that, filled with people watching, and then a bunch of things are fighting in the middle. Oh. Like, all at once? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> As the fight comes to an end, and one person is left standing... So as the final two people are left, what appears to be a female human and a rancor. Oh, lovely. This girl takes a trident, throws it practically right through the eye and out the back of the head. Oh, God. And when the rancor falls, she goes up, rips the trident out of his head, and raises it in the air. Letting out a horrific battle cry. Lovely. As the crowd goes wild. <laughs> well. I say, don't know if I want to fight here. Well, what's, what's wrong with fighting here? I, I don't think I have a sharp enough thing to go through the red core's eye. <laughs> well, the eye is the soft spot. But I guess none of your weapons really other than your sword is sharp, huh? Yeah. And I don't think I'll throw that. <laughs> as everybody starts to get up and walk out of the arena, as the arena has closed for today. What? <laughs> it's nighttime, man. Oh. Well, not nighttime, but it's sundown time. I'm like, so, that was interesting. Indeed. I say, how much do you think she won? I don't even know. But to be able to kill a Rancor that easy? I'm scared. Must have been here for a long time. You kill a Rancor in one hit half? No, but don't you need a signet? <laughs> Yep. So? I'm not coming to the arena to fight a creature, half. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why not? 
because I'm smart. F. You think you fly <laughs> before you reach the creature? <laughs> no. Why waste your time in a gladiator pit when the odds would be stacked against you to pe- for people to make money? Oh yeah. <clears throat> That's why. Mandalorians fight for honor, not for wealth and stuff. Oh yeah. It has to be an honorable kill. I can't just go to a gladiator pit and fight a trapped in animal, you know? Yeah. You spill on yourself. Yes, I do. Alright, so I'm going to go and check out the market area on Geonosis. See what kind of, like, foods and stuff they have that we can put on the ship so that we don't have to keep stopping at places, you know? Uh, I will join you. I'm also... uh, I don't know what else I need. I need a translator. <laughs> you need a translator. That you do. You gonna look for a translator, Huff? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm just thinking what else I need. Finders. I would like to look for more weapons. But I don't think they'd have a weapon there on Geonosis with it. Nope. Nope. It's just... Whatever the planet has to offer. That's why I'm saying I'm just looking for the food. So what they have for food? Would they have a translator? Possibly. What about binders? Nope. That's equipment. They're bugs. So hopefully they'll have a translator. So yeah, I'll just look for a translator. And food. I'll have pitch for the food, you know. Yep. So we end up purchasing a grand total of five five ration crates so each ration crate holds a, we- a week's worth of food. Alright, so five weeks worth of food. Yep. And that costed us each 200 credits. Okay, can I find my translator? For the translator, you'll have to roll to see if you found it. And we're going to roll perception. Yep. Three and two. Three success, two advantage. Alright, so upon looking, you see a translator. But in front of the translator, at the same booth, you see the one that shoved the trident through the Rancor's eye. Is she signing it? No. She looks to be looking at the tables. I go walk up, and I'm like, hello. May I help you? Um, I would like to translate her. That, are, are you sure a man, of, a man of your stature can afford a, a translator? Depending on the price. What kind of translator you want? Preferably one with a, that I can keep on, but that has an on-off button. Alright, well I can sell you one for 300 credits. Fuck, I'll do that. A- a- anything else? I said, well, can I roll to see what else he has on the table? Sure. Again, three? Yep. One and three, one success, two advantage. Alright, so you'd see literally nothing of use being a Wookiee and being okay with mechanics. You see mainly just spare parts kind of thing. Eh. Kind of just junk, you know? I say, can I test the translator? Be my guest. So I test it. And I say, hey, how are you doing? The translator works, F. Right, so I pay him the 300. Yeah. So that would be like seven. Well, hello, Brian. What do you have? Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. What does that have? My lighter. Uh-huh. Right, I said, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Then I walk away. I 
find you again. Like, so are we ready to go? Where are we going? So I don't know. You want to go back to Tatooine for the time being? It's night. What would be the point? Get a hotel room. I have a ship. Well, I guess we just you can find ship. a hotel room, I guess. No, I'll sleep on the ship. I don't have a bed for you, Ash. Half. It's a one-person ship. How am I going to have a bed for you? Fuck off. You can sleep on the floor. <laughs> but I don't have a bed. <laughs> I'm going to look in the marketplace for like an inflatable bed. <laughs> Perception. They don't have beds for sale. Ash. Fuck off. Uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you half my beds aren't for rent uh, <laughs> I'm your partner no just traveling companion uh, <laughs> uh, so the plan you'll spend the night in your ship I guess then travel tomorrow Travel where? I don't know, back to Tatooine or someplace. Why you want to go back to Tatooine so bad? I don't know, someplace we <laughs> can get work. Well, that's why we came here was to get work. Well, I'm not fighting in that pit. <laughs> I ain't killing a Rancor. You said you had to kill a Rancor. I'm assuming there's at least one <laughs> in each match. No. It's the Gladiator Pits F. Not a battle royal every time. Oh. <laughs> Is it you really want me to fight in the pits? If you want to die. I don't really want to die. <laughs> uh, I don't think your soak is sufficient. I don't know four. <laughs> oh, man. You could him? always challenge the champion. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine that one, huh? <laughs> uh, is this so hard? We gotta find work on this planet. I know nothing about it. Like I said, just gotta eavesdrop. I say I don't have stealth. No. Well, you better have good ears then. Just don't get caught. <laughs> Wookie with no stealth. Poor guy can't even sneak in the jungle half. <laughs> oh man. So what's our plan now? I say I guess I leave the ease dropping to you. You can still ease drop half. It's up to you to eavesdrop anyway. Why? Because you're, you're the player. Uh, so either way, it's up to you. <laughs> My character is just there so you don't die alone, F. I don't have stealth. <laughs> so I said you're just going to have to hope to hell you don't get caught. <laughs> and don't get in trouble. <laughs> uh, you uh, have stealth. Indeed. The ease job is left up to you. No, because I have the kid. I'll watch the kid. No. Why? <laughs> it's okay, half. Half. It's for the player to do. There'd be no point in the GM doing it, so either way, it's up for you to do, half. Whether you got the skill or not, you gotta do it in the obvious, I guess. <laughs> uh Yeah, yeah, this Wookie just peeks his head in. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> At least you got perception. <laughs> if I think I'm done for that one, I am so done. <laughs> My brain's not working right now. You croaking already? Not croaking, but I can't focus on this. <laughs> I'm sorry.